What's cranking anglers? Today we're going to be diving into the November Northeast Regional Bag from Monster Bass. As always, to start off the bag, we have our monthly pamphlet, a brochure talking about what's coming up, our golden ticket, and a Monster Bass sticker. I do want to say, by far, this is the heaviest Monster Bass bag that we've had yet so far. So let's check this stuff out. Up first, we have a lipless crankbait from Team Arc. This is the Elite Z Series lipless crankbait. It has an interior rattle on the inside. It has a really nice sound to it. I do like that has extra weight for longer cast, has some razor sharp Japanese hooks on it. This thing looks amazing. I really do like the looks of it. Kind of looks angry. It's definitely a unique lipless crankbait and I do want to use this one. Up next, we have the Strike King Red Eye Special Spinner Bait. This is 3 8 of an ounce. It's a really nice spinner bait. I do love a lot of the products that come from Strike King. This has a Vibramax stainless steel wire for extra vibration. It has a holographic willow blade that is painted to resemble bait fish. And it has a spin easy ball bearing swivel to create better flashes in the water. I've used plenty of the Red Eye Specials from Strike King. So this one's definitely going to have to go into the tackle box. Up next, we have the Monster Bass Seeker 8. This one dives four to eight feet. That's where they get the eight from in Seeker 8. The Seeker 6, I think, dove up to six feet. This is half an inch, two and a half inches long, and it's half an ounce. I do love the Seeker 6s. Not so much familiar with the Seeker 8. I'm sure it's just like the Seeker 6. I just don't have waters around me that much that I fish often that are about eight feet, but I'll definitely have to try this one out. Up next, we have another one from Strike King. We have the KVD HC Square Bill Crankbait. I've gotten two or three of these from Monster Bass. I do like them, so I don't mind getting more. I've landed a couple nice bass with these. There's really not much to say about it besides other than it is a great Square Bill Crankbait. Up next, we have some Soft Plastics by Deep Creek, Deep Creek Lures. That's a bit of a tongue twister. These are a nice creature, creature style bait. This is called, the color is Watermelon Slice. It is a five count. This is definitely a unique style creature bait. It's got a few appendages coming off of it. Let's see, what do they say? It is designed to float where most, most creature baits are not. I do like this. It smells like soft plastic. It really smells like soft plastic. I'd say it's definitely durable. This is definitely a nice creature style bait to use. Up next, we have some more soft plastics, but these ones are by X-Zone Lures. Fantastic company. I love all the products that I've gotten from them so far. This is the Adrenaline Craw. This is a six count. The color is called Purple Shadow. It has floating claws. It's definitely a unique style creature bait. I wouldn't even mind using these on a punch rig. Let's check the smell of them. It smells like soft plastic, just like all the other ones. It's a fantastic company and they have fantastic soft plastics. Up next on the soft plastics, we have some by Strike King. This is the KVDs, soft plastic. These are the Fat Baby Finesse. The color is Fire Tiger. I do like the color of these. It looks kind of like a chartreuse with black and or red flake in there. It's an open pour technology that they're using with these. It has a nice fat tail on it to displace a lot of water. Let's check the smell of it. Yep, as always, like with most Strike King saw plastics, it has the coffee scent in it. These are going to be fantastic. And up next, we have some hooks by Monster Bass. This is a 
five pack. It's a three yacht. These are fantastic. I have recently fished with these. They are super sharp and it's easy to set the hook with them. So it's nice to have these inside your tackle box. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to check out our other videos. We also have another unboxing coming soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.